I have brought the Hotpoint 9530W Electronic 1000 Plus into the kitchen for a Sunday night wash. I'm doing some bed sheets and a uh, double duvet cover on program 2, 60 degrees Celsius colour fast cotton with Purcell non bio powder and Comfort Pure. Uh, I'm alone for the next few days, so I thought I'd bring her in. She's going to be receiving her shock absorbers next week, so I might as well keep her in the house. So, keep yourself tuned in, watch in HD, because you are watching Florence Ballad A3060, the channel made in honour of the original Supreme Florence Ballad, the Shirelles and Hoover's first 1100 RPM automatic, the A3060 Electronic 1100. <laughs> come back in the house. She would have been where the cassata is, but I thought, let's have her out in the middle. I uh, never really get to do this, because uh, obviously mum's here, she would not allow three machines in the house. So we've got the plumbing pulled out behind the Miele and round the side. Cassata's there, small load in there that I was going to do. Um, so yes, the shock absorbers are still the same on this, you'll hear some rattling but I decided to do a lighter load of bedding and not towels or whites as I was going to do and she also did a kill rock to scale wash today and the water was grey coming out of the machine uh, apart from that she's in very good condition um, she will be put in here and she was going to receive the new shock absorbers I think on the 15th or 16th I've ordered the new motor for the machine because although the motor seems okay I just want to replace that motor altogether May because I don't know the motor bearing sound like this starting to go a bit so we'll see how a new motor sounds see how she sounds this wash if it's bad then I'll put the new motor on but if not I'll keep her uh, I'm also getting a 800 GC motor 800 RPM GC motor so if I ever get a 9524 a 9510 etc I can use that um, she's also got my baby blanket on top of her <laughs> this is must have been from us about three years well two years old probably when I had that. Um, I remember a few times I was actually ill when I had that blanket, I remember, I remember being sick over it, a bit of an embarrassing memory. <laughs> um, so it's like a childhood thing because the 9530W resided in the house just down the, uh, two doors down. So it's nice that, you know, the machine, who knows, this could have been the same one that I saw. You never know. So um, we're going to get loading, I've got my little LED bulb there. Yes, I know, Service Gem and a few others who don't like LED, but I will replay, well it's good. If I had an incandescent bulb or a halogen one, uh, it'd get hot and I wouldn't be able to move that. So I'm going to get loading. I've got the bedding here. I've already buttoned it up, so we're not going to have to stop filming all of a sudden. And before anyone starts saying that, oh, you've brought a machine into the house and you're using your bad shocks, well, the shocks aren't particularly worn out. They're just starting to rattle a bit. This is a look. And I can't let the machine's motor seize up and whatnot, especially because of the fact the machine had new bearings. Uh, this time we're going to put the lime scale tablet in the drum. Now the scale in the wash has done quite a good job. There's still some scales to get rid of, so I'll just place that on there. The drawer. Ah, bingo, I've got the box in here. So I'm going to do a pretty much half scoop. Personal on bio. Ooh, a little bit clumpy there, but I'll just break that down, that's fine. And the Comfort Pure. Probably best combination. Uh, once the shock absorbers are good on this machine, I will do a personal gems run. Um, I don't know what we'll do for that. Maybe a couple of blankets on a 60, or synthetics I'll do. So you're going to do program 2, 60 degrees Celsius, colour fast cotton, that's the daily run program. Uh, she's got a 9534 dial as you know, mainly as you know because program 6 is in red on that model, but I'm not fast, I quite like this dial actually. Let's turn around, at least this one lines up. 
Don't need any of these options. And without further ado, I'm going to pull the start. Enjoy. Oh, you might have noticed we have personal gems on the machine. That's because I was considering doing personal gems for this one, but I thought, no, let's just do a standard wash. Oh, it's nearly midnight. Oh, this machine's going to be screaming through the night. Oh, the neighbors going to love me. Let me just get a flash photo. Sound film on that. I did a picture earlier, and I swear to God, this machine looked like it was in a broker shop. <coughs> yeah. stop the machine filling there because that's quite a good level. now. That water's already in there about 35. <coughs> I don't I don't prime the hot water on these because I want the machine's heating element to work harder at heating. Uh, that way it helps break off the line scale a bit better. Helicopters galore flying around today. Well, that's a police helicopter coming over now that I can know. We've had about seven or eight passes today. Or 
Although we are on, we are on the flight path, the Thames helicopter flight path over London, but even still, well, there was a French Puma or something, or Apache that went over yesterday. As well as the Boeing CH-47 Chinook, the Chinook went, went past, with, I don't know what helicopter it was. And we've heated to 60 degrees, it only took about 15 minutes. Less than that actually. Final part of the main wash now. Progress through that relatively quickly. But you can hear the motor bearings a bit of that. Sucks for Purcell. Hopefully all spins should be smooth on this really. No, you never know a bedding though. Thing as well, I'm able to open the, the valve on this one a lot more than I, I can on the Armand one. Although I haven't got it open to full pressure because I know I don't think she could handle that, but it's opened a lot more wider than the 95308. I was 95308 at this point because I'm shooting out the draw. Disabled half load was allowing the machine to do full level rinses to get as much soap out as possible. First intermediate spin, the drum jolted a bit there. 
Um, you got on balance, I think. Let's see.
Now you can see why I only did bedding in this machine, not anything else. Uh, third rinse. That uh, filled quite quickly. So the salt you're seeing isn't from the personal detergent itself. It's more the soap scum that's still on the outside. It's like I did an 85 degree boil wash with kill rock. Uh, I'm just going to have to keep going, I guess. Fortunately, I don't know anything more powerful than kill rock. I think kill rock is the most powerful. Smooth as spin that was. <coughs> Still sudsy though. That's thanks to the southern water quality, well, London water quality. Put. It's like 
10 to 1 here in the morning. <laughs> Hopefully the comfort to the kill the suns. I do love the beads of water that come down the door on the um front room. The machine carries the water and drops it. Final spin. Let's see. That's perfectly smooth. Brilliant. This machine actually empties quicker than the 95308. Because normally once that machine finished emptying, the machine would go into spin. This has got a bit more time to wait. I hear the chugging.
this hot point spin. definitely come out drier than expected and classic smell you should do pretty good for that load actually um, so anyway that's the Hotpoint 9530W Electronic 1000 Plus uh, just done the program 2, 60 degrees Celsius, colour fast cotton um, I may put out another video of this machine during the week I'll see what I've got to wash I'll see if there's anything light I know I've got my bedding to do so we can maybe do that in this machine with personal gems and see how this machine handles oh no 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 personal gems got to be the bathrobe so I'll wait till the suspension's fixed on this machine because I can't have a bathrobe in that machine it will literally destroy the machine if I'm not careful I mean you saw what it was doing with the Cassata good job the Cassata had an out of balance sensor this machine doesn't so you know 
Um, so we're going to do. I think I might try and get another out on the Mila. We need the Mila to do. The Mila can do my bedding with. Mila hasn't done any of the Australian detergent yet. So you could do my bedding with the Radiant. Because that uh, might get one more video out before the machine's uh, put into storage. For the 9530W to be in here. Then after that, the A3060 will be in here. Um, and just a little update on Tuesday. I am, well, we could essentially say tomorrow, because <laughs> it's one o'clock now in the morning. I don't class it as morning on, until 3 a.m., to be honest. Um, Tuesday, I am heading to a wash in, a small wash in. Um, I'm not going to say who. None of you lot are going to guess who either because um, you don't, I've never mentioned these people. Uh, but I'm going to be, we'll just say I'm heading down to Kent to Hearn Bay. And I'm heading towards that area Hearn Bay, Birchington on Sea, that sort of area. So I might, <coughs> I might vlog the train, but I don't know. Depends what train class I'm going to be on. If it's an electro style, and I'll vlog it. Um, so I'm going to be seeing a, a good, good few machines, mix of modern and vin vintage and classic. Um, we'll also be receiving the replacement lid for the 9530A. So we'll get the lid on that machine. And what I've decided to do is pull off all the broken bits of plastic and I'm going to send her over to Kai. We're going to cardboard, put a bit of cardboard and like, probably polystyrene over the, or foam, or bowl wrap over the, where the fascia is. The draw and <coughs> time and up. We'll go in the drum, and I'll send her off to Kai. Um, that way then she can be out of the way and not sat in that shed, and at least someone could be helping her. We're still waiting for the 9534 fascia to be sent down. I don't know when that's going to be. Um, whenever James is ready to do that, really. I'm not going to rush him. Uh, but we are still looking out for 9530As that, well, 9530s that are going for scrap. There was a 9530W, another one, somewhere in, I can't remember where, um, but unfortunately, it was fully it was fully working. So this machine was meant to be the donor machine, but I wanted a brown and white model. Um, so yeah, we'll do that, and at least and then back down to four, and then I've got a clear space should anything pop up on my list. So I'm going to make cut that one short, so we don't have a long outro. And um, that's what we use. She's going to stay in here till tomorrow. Oh 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 no! One more thing. I'm going to pull the Mila out tomorrow and put the Mila here. We'll do that during the afternoon <coughs> or evening. Reason is, I want to see if we can get the Mila to chug while she's here. We'll hook her over the sink exactly the same way we did that because of the hot points chugging, soak in the Mila. So if we can do that, then we'll see if we can get the Mila to chug. Um, but I am thinking of replacing the pump on this machine and putting a new, probably just like a standard drain hose onto the back because the old one's kinks. Anyway, cut it off there guys. Thank you very much for watching that. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.